Mr. Dhananjay Patel is the Senior Head of Discipline of Architecture Department at A Systems 2, Mumbai. Dhananjay has an experience of 22 years in urban and regional planning and is passionate about airport design and planning. He believes that sustainability has to be the underlying principle for all planning and design projects. Currently, he is leading multiple airport planning and terminal design projects at A Systems 2. Some of the airport projects he is involved in includes Noida International Airport, Bangalore Terminal 2, and Jabalpur Airport. Today, Mr. Dhananjay will speak on planning strategies for sustainable airport. So let's welcome Mr. Dhananjay Pat. So basically, I will be covering the sustainable design strategies from architecture and planning point of view. So there are a lot of uh, discussions already happen on the technical aspect. Okay, and all sustainability, green building features are, I guess, people are aware of it. But I will be talking more from an architectural angle, how we have considered these uh, strategies and how we have integrated them in the planning and architectural design. Okay, so basically one slide about my company. So this is the uh, Assistance Stoop. Uh, it was known as the uh, Stoop Consultant, more than 50 year old company, uh, known for the bridges, highways, architecture, engineering, all sectors we have done projects in India. And one year back, we got merged into our system group, which is Paris-based engineering group, engineering company. We have now rebranded ourselves as our systems group. So in recent time, we have done projects like Noida International Airport. We finished early this year, uh, which is now going to EPC tender and EPC contractor will be working on this. So this was an assignment with as master architects team. We were part of master architects team along with Nordic, Grimshaw, Haptic, and we were the fourth Indian part Another airport, Jabalpur airport, I will be talking about this as well in few slides, a couple of slides. This is the airport at Jabalpur, uh, domestic airport, small airport. Uh, this will be Griha, four star rated. Uh, currently, this is under construction. Also, you can see the next airport is Vijaywada airport. Uh, this is under construction right now. Navi Mumbai airport, we were part of the team as a local collaborating architect to review the main terminal's work from the local codes and compliances point of view and also to design the major infrastructure the entire infrastructure design utility master plan is done by uh, assistance to including the transport network and from architecture point of view we have designed all other buildings facility buildings including the mlcp in ml uh, in navi mumbai airport Similarly, in Bangalore airport, we had done many multiple projects. In fact, um, for Terminal 2, we were involved as a local collaborating architect. We were also part of the Terminal 2 team along with SOM. Along with that, we designed other supporting and ancillary facilities at uh, Bangalore airport. Our other teams are working on the inter, uh, have provided the services for the infrastructure master plans and uh, transportation master plan, transportation detailing for the Bangalore International Airport. One small airport that is the Agati Airport. I'll show, I'll be showing this airport particularly from the sustainability and uh, the design point of view. So these are some airports which we had finished earlier. Hyderabad International Airport was, uh, we were owners engineer. New Doha International Airport where we did other building. Bangalore International uh, Airport Terminal 1 expansion and also the bus gate expansion and the auto backdrop areas so, which we did. Sindhudurg Airport, uh, it was inaugurated one or two years back. It is a small airport in Maharashtra, south of Maharashtra, very close to Goa. It is developed for the tourism purpose and this airport is completely entirely done by Stu, uh, including the uh, master planning, air side and even the architecture of the project. Andal Airport or Durgapur Airport, it is a uh, was uh, terminal building and the entire campus was done by Stu. So Benghazi Airport, it was work with Airport de Paris uh, International Consultant. Okay, so why uh, we are talking about uh, sustainable about airport definitely there are challenges about the airport growth in aviation directly relates to the growth of the country growth of the national and regional economy so we want the airport aviation sector to grow but at the same time making the infrastructure makes it challenging for the sustainability so airports normally are very large and complex infrastructure they run 24 hours the operations are 24 hours even since they are very large, they have a larger environmental footprint. So it is very, very important to pay attention to the sustainable goals for the airport. And uh, we should ensure that 
uh, the development should be sustainable uh, for the airport so i'll be showing you few interesting strategies which we followed in some of the airports which we did so starting with master planning aspect so normally for the master planning the main strategies include the reduce in the external water demand okay the water supply for the entire airport complex so can it be reduced okay by harvesting the storm and roof rain water recycling of water again sewage water treatment uh, the stp water can be reused for saving water and reusing the water renewable energy on site energy generation reduce landfills by solid waste management and produce uh, compost sometimes biogas plant and sustainable transportation so i feel that these are the key points which come into picture if we have to consider this sustainability for the entire airport master plan i would like to show one interesting example at uh, bangalore international airport kempegowda international airport bangalore so the entire site that is 1600 hectare site the storm water is not going out of the plot so the entire site is divided into catchment six catchment zones and each catchment zone is provided with one pond so this pond are interconnected and this particular water is treated and again used for potable purpose so this particular pond water storm water pond and the water from the sewage treatment plant so both combined are actually compensating more than 50 percent of the water demand so you can see the 20 percent 20.9 20 mld is the entire water requirement and out of that the water coming from the bwssb non-potable 3.35 and 6.65 only 50 percent less than 50 percent is coming from outside rest of the water is available within the airport basically uh, there will be a 2.7 mld treated water available from this pond okay another strategy is the solar energy at uh, kiab again uh, there is a land parcel identified in the airport which can where the solar farms can be installed and these solar farms are actually providing about 59 megawatts power so with on-site and off-site solar farms the isle is moving towards 100 uh, percent renewable energy powered airports now so this is one opportunity since airports are large land parcels okay so there is definitely opportunity to meet the sustainability goals by using the rooftop of the terminal building rooftop of the all other buildings and the vacant lands okay so many times there are land available for the future development or maybe there are lands which cannot be developed and for the aviation purpose we have to keep it uh, low okay we cannot build any structure there because of the obstacle limitation surfaces so we should use this opportunity and uh, create a solar farm to harvest solar energy okay so now coming to the terminal building so how architectural design we have considered some sustainable approaches so i will be showing few climate responsive architectural design strategies which we use in our uh, architectural design so basically when we consider climatic responsive architecture we have to consider the building orientation but building orientation normally will not work for the airports because the orientations are normally dictated by the airfield planning okay by the functional planning of the terminal building so we have to look into the facade design solar shedding how we can reduce the heat gain and maximize daylight daylighting again through skylight also if there are any scopes for using natural ventilation i will be showing a couple of slides on this there are other sustainable factors for the terminal building like uh, energy efficient mechanical system sensors reducing water consumption waterless urinals and all such kind of pictures other green building strategies are there so i'm not talking about this in today's presentation since we have a limited time i will be showing some climate responsive architectural strategies which we have considered so this is noida international airport and uh, ter this terminal building is the phase one part so you can imagine the right hand side edge is the edge where the building building will get mirrored the building will need to grow as the traffic grows you can see this roof is provided with uh, diamond shaped skylight so this particular skylighting is used for providing diffuse skylight and uniform distributed skylight within the terminal building so the departure level is getting a diffuse skylight so we have a layer of fabric again this is tensile fabric this is a fire rated tensile fabric uh, forming a shape of hyperbolic paraboloid which which are the truss and it gives an interesting pattern to the roof and also at the same time it uniformly lit the entire floor plate so this is another concept uh, in noida international airport we have proposed outdoor four port and move this we have proposed uh, outside four court which is a large open space so this space is created for people this should work like an airport village 
So this kind of concept we had introduced in Hyderabad airport when we designed for the first time. And uh, particularly in India, there are large number of meters and greeters who come who accompany the traveler. So they can come and enjoy the space here, shopping, maybe food, food and beverage. So that kind of space is created by creating a semi-covered. So this space is covered from with a roof, uh, which is a aluminum standing thing roof with skylight, diamond shaped skylight, and again a fabric roof soffit for that, which gives a diffuse light. A greenery uh, or landscape provided in this provides further additional shading to the space and it improves the microclimate using evapotranspiration. Also this space acts as a transition space. So you can see that the exterior temperature at uh, Noida can go above 40 degrees, 35, 40 degrees and people while they enter this, so this acts as a transition zone be before people enter the main terminal which is completely air conditioned and which will have a 24 to 25 degree temperature. Okay, so one more interesting concept which we utilized in, uh, in uh, Noida is the courtyard. So courtyard is how can we have a courtyard in air conditioned building? So the, here we have proposed courtyard to bring in the effect of the daylighting also connect to the regional architectural language because if we see the traditional architecture in India is uh, designed out around courtyard. So this particular uh, courtyard helps in bringing daylighting, uh, self-shaded light and there will be a lot of greenery which will improve the microclimate of the courtyard. In certain seasons this space can be, the door can be open and it, this space can be combined, the outdoor and indoor space can be combined, combined in this particular uh, courtyard. So this is something mid-seasons where the courtyard can be used different some of the seasons definitely this uh, door can be used open completely okay so in Jabalpur airport we developed the roof in such a way that we should get the entire roof as a daylight as a north light truss so we have a, a hyperbolic paraboloid concrete shale roof which creates a uh, skylight all skylights are facing uh, north and those will provide a lot of uh, daylighting inside the terminal building you can see the uh, sides of the terminal building are solid wall However, on the air side, where it is facing on the south side, we have developed a screen, aluminium screen, uh, developed on the design of uh, local artwork of Dari, which gives additional shading and reduces the heat gain in the building. This is one uh, Agati airport. This is a small airport completely done on the RCC platform. Environmentally and ecologically very sensitive. Hyperbolic paraboloid shell roof developed on uh, concept.